Welcome to more previews as the dust settles on the Christmas disasters. And so departed dreadful Derek, who single-handedly justifies speaking ill of the dead. But what of the aftermath? Joey returns and asks Alice to forgive him for running off on her, while Lauren's deliriously happy he's back and Lucy sees the pair kiss passionately. Lucy has a run-in with Lauren, and when she admits drink driving, Lucy heads to the police station. Will Joey be able to get to her in time? And what's the shocking secret he tells Alice? Meanwhile, Tanya tells Max that she wants to know everything about his secret, and a crushed Carol gets a letter from David that Derek kept from her. Kat's devastated when she hears Alfie invite Roxy and Amy to move in with him, a new arrangement he celebrates by going on a bender with Ian. Phil ups the ante with Sharon by celebrating the new year by producing a ring and proposing. Jack's perplexed and races off to interrupt Lexi's christening, but instead chooses to visit James's grave. Sharon does get engaged, but to whom? And Lola's upset at the christening when she sees the order of service for Lexi Billy Mitchell. Will she get her wish that she's named Pierce? Next we're on the cobbles. Tyrone's birthday gift has backfired badly when Fizz fails the show for lunch on New Year's Eve. She's at home unconscious from carbon monoxide poisoning. Fizz is eventually found and rushed to hospital while Tyrone's terrified he's killed the woman he loves. Fizz lays unconscious and doctors reveal she may have suffered brain damage and Chairs confronts Tyrone demanding to know if it's his fault. His life in chaos, Tyrone fears his plan to get custody of Ruby is ruined while health and safety investigators also arrive. Will he be prosecuted? After Eva's evil wedding expose, Nick and Leanne's relationships in tatters, but she's determined to make amends and delivers a birthday gift on New Year's Eve. Badly hurt, he's determined to keep Leanne at arm's length, but when he's run off his feet during Mary's Mexican night, she steps in and offers her help. Leanne implores him to give her another chance, and he admits he still loves her, but can't trust her. Then she drops a massive bombshell. And Carla begins to suspect their accounts have been doctored. All hell breaks loose as she confronts Michelle over her part in Rob's scam. Happy New Year! Finally, we're in the Dales. Katie and Declan try to deal with the fact they will probably never have kids, while Megan is conflicted about using their awful plight to her advantage. Katie realises that Declan lied about not really wanting children, but declares to him they can get through it, although she confides in Megan that she thinks she should leave him. Kane derails Dom's pursuit of Moira by stealing his bike and helmet and going to collect Moira for her date. They zoom off before she even realises it's him. Kane admits he misses her and they get passionate, later taking her to the pub and making a big show of kissing her at midnight. Ah. Moira takes a very big step by breaking the news to Adam and Kane stays over, while Zach tells him they could have a future if he treats her right. And Cameron is even more slippery than usual when a relative of his victim arrives and starts asking difficult questions. He persuades Chaz to sell the pub to Bernice and come with him to Jersey. You can run, but you can't hide. 